Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be taking the Alphabet Soup book tag, E is for Endings. So this was created by Sean the Bookmaniac, and I was tagged by Charlie Heathcote. There are a bunch of questions, we're going to go through it, and we'll see what we come up with. So, question one. E is for Ending, a book with a great one, and one whose ending sucked. Avoid spoilers, or at least warn as if you can't. So my one with a great ending is Cell by Stephen King. This is potentially controversial, as I know that not everybody likes it. Not every Stephen King fan even likes it. It's quite an open ending, which I thought was cool. It, I, I really enjoy open endings when they're done well. And one whose ending sucked was The Lovely Bones by Alice Seabold. Now, granted, I didn't particularly enjoy that book too much anyway. But then at the end... Basically, the ghost of a young girl possesses the body of her friend so she can have sex with the boy she loved. Question number two. E is for elderly, a favourite or memorable elderly character. Well, this can only be Doris and or Harold Copeland from Charlie Heathcote's Our Doris books. Charlie is a booktuber. I suggest you check him out if you haven't already. And definitely check out the Doris books. So Doris is like this cantankerous old woman who likes to kill snails. And Harold is her long-suffering husband. Question number three, E is for EU, your favourite contemporary writer, post-World War II to now, from the European Union, and or one you'd like to try. So the answer that springs to mind here is Yanis Yonevs, he's a Latvian writer and he wrote a book called Doom 94, which basically is like a coming of age novel in Latvia just after the fall of the Soviet regime, kind of semi-autobiographical, it's a bit like On the Road but with Doom Metal basically. And it, just, it was just really well written and uh, reminded me a lot of my own childhood. Question number four. E is for E, a writer you'd recommend whose first and or last name begins with E. So I'm going to go E.E. E. Cummings. He's a poet and he's pretty good. Question number five. E is for exploration, a new writer, theme or genre you'd like to try. So in terms of my writing, I'd like to do some historic fiction and I have dabbled it with it a little bit and I plan to dabble with it some more. Um, and in terms of my reading, I don't really have an answer for this because I've already read a little bit of everything, you know? Question number six. E is for Et tu Brute, a book in which betrayal plays a central role. So for me, this is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. It's my favourite book of all time, or at least what I credit as being my favourite book of all time. And yeah, the main character kind of unwittingly betrays somebody. It's kind of a central theme to the book. And um, yeah, just read it. And when you realise what the betrayal is, it's kind of a twist and kind of really sad as well. Question number seven. E is for exception. A book that you loved or really liked in spite of it containing what you almost always consider a fatal flaw. So that for me would be Salem's Lot by Stephen King. And that's like a retelling. Now, I know granted it's not an exact retelling of Dracula or anything, but it is certainly heavily inspired by it. And it is kind of a modern retelling of or I guess we could also go for a Fever Dream by George R. R. Martin, which is kind of a retelling of Dracula set in um, like New Orleans on the rivers and stuff. But yeah, I just don't like retellings. So the thing that immediately stood out to me was retelling. And that was the best answer I could think of for you. Be right back. I think my baguette might be burning. There was a single lone onion ring that I'd not taken off the pan when I cooked some earlier and it's burnt to a, a crisp. But the baguette is just right, so that's good. Question number eight. E is for E, a book title with lots of E's. So I'm going for E, E, E by Tao Lin. Number nine. E is for Ever Present, a book you read a long time ago that has really stuck with you. So I'm going to go for The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. It stuck to me to the extent in which I can remember one of the lines was, like the brief doomed flare of a thousand exploding suns that registers dimly on blind men's eyes. The beginning of the horror passed almost unnoticed. What a cracking line. Definitely read The Exorcist if you haven't already. Question number 10. E is for Eliminate, a group of books you got rid of or want to and why. So for me, this is like two thirds of my collection and it's just because basically I have so many books. It's making the f like I want to move and maybe even go traveling and it's just not going to be feasible. And uh, so I'm just downsizing and selling them all on eBay to save up a bit of money basically. Question number 11. E is for everyone. Tag extensively. So I'm going to do what I normally do, and I'm going to go to my recent comments on YouTube. And I'm going to tag some people who recently commented. So I am going to tag. I'm going to tag Break Even Books, Joel Swagman, Todd the Librarian, Cats and Camera, Bookish, Brad Proctor, Mindy's Book Journey, Binge Reader, Jason's Weird Reads, and Nikki at I Read Past My Bedtime. 
So there we have it, that's my take on the Alphabet Soup book tag, E is for ending. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers, what you think of any of these books if you've read them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, Bye bye